I promised to record this rifle, which is a .577 Schneider 1875, which my father retrieved from a fort in Oman, Fort Jalali, in around 1971. As you can see, it packs quite a punch. Those are very large rounds, which are frightfully expensive to, to shoot, unfortunately. Here you can see the difference between a Winchester 22 Magnum and the 577 Schneider alongside. It's massive, little and large. These bullets I had made in California. Um, I can't remember the name of the fellow, but I seem to remember I, I bought 50 rounds of them and I can't even remember the price. I know it was ridiculous. It's like $80. And this is, we're talking 25 years ago. Well, the overall shape of the rifle isn't too bad. Um, it's got a few dings on it, as you would expect. It was taken out of Fort Jalali uh, when they released the prisoners, when Sultan Qaboos took over from his father, who was an absolute nutcase, and kept these poor bastards um, basically in terrible conditions awful. I've been to that fort several times but never seen inside it. Hammer and breech and as you can see there's the BSA marking there 1875 and over to the left King George's mark slightly over I don't know if you can see that there is the 1875 BSA MC, British made. We have some more marks there, just below the sights, and you can see the just beneath beneath the leaf sight. We have one, two, three, and four. I think that's very wishful thinking. Um, I will now ramp it up and move the rifle a little bit. But before I do, just a general slow sweep along the barrel. As you can see, there is pitting. This fort was in Muscat, and obviously the, uh, the corrosion from the salt air hasn't done it any good. But I know that the inside of the bore is in very good shape. I'm going to try without getting this cord in the way, the camera shake there. First of all, to open the breech, you have to pull the hammer back. It has two cocks. One, two. So I'm going to put it on half cock and open the breech. Which isn't too bad. To eject the shell, you just pull back on this. Everything is working fine. This little toggle here, this little toggle is working fine. And the inside of that is in very good shape. For its age, there's another marking right there. I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea what that means. exciting in other words you take it up along there and basically aim down that side I can't actually get the, the basic battle site but anyway you get the picture there you know. of course when you raise it up like so then it's a whole different matter to get that front sight into the top there. You're like lobbing a grenade. 
for all intents and purposes. But anyway, let me put it down. Well, this part here can go up and down as well. It's very optimistic, extremely so. I don't know whether you can see that, but the bore is in pretty good shape. I've only fired it once, and that was by accident. Scared the living daylights out of everybody around us. A word of caution uh, to people that do not have the protector cap, which was attached down here by a chain. It had a cap on here, which my son's does. His is the full infantry rifle. This is the cadet version, which is trimmed out in brass on the trigger guard and also on the butt plate. There's no access port for any cleaning rods. And I also have heard people asking for the cleaning rod which this particular model does not have, but the infantry version does. It slots in here and extends obviously out to the end of the longer barrel of the infantry version. I'm not sure if this was actually used just for uh, mounted soldiers or it was an officer's weapon, I have no idea. Um, Murphy's muskets might be able to tell me something about it. He's an authority on the, on this particular rifle. As for the dings, wear and tear of traveling around the world wherever I've been moving to, I'm not sure what to do with those. I'd like to use it again, but um, I'm a little bit wary until I have a, a full inspection done. And I'm, I'm afraid that the 28 gauge shotgun shells that were recommended by Mr. Murphy are um, difficult to find here, I'm afraid, but they're easy to find in the United States. Some more assay marks there, and more dings. This thing's covered in proof marks and all the rest of it. As I say, my son's gun is much better shape and one of these days um, I hope to fire it when I come up to the States. This is from Colombia. I bid you a good afternoon.